Welcome to this edition of Get to Know Your Wayne State Football Program for the 2024 campaign. I'm Sports Information Director Jeff Weiss, joined by Head Coach Tyrone Wheatley. Let's talk about your favorite position, guys, the running backs. This year we've got four returners coming back who all saw action last year. Obviously, all in different types of guys. You've got Demir Farnham, Brayden McKenna, Jeremiah Sterling, and Xavier Titus. So, Demir played in four games, had about 10 carries. Obviously, a little bit of an electric guy out there, along with his brother. <laughs> yeah. You know, he, he's going to get mad at me on this one, but the Saginaw game, he should have scored. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, but when you talk about electric, he is. Um, he's one of those guys who create space, make one-on-one -on -one guys miss. Um, but for, for a thin guy who, who runs with power, I mean, that's the one thing he does. He, he runs with force. He, he runs well behind his pads, um, picks up the uh, yards after contact. Good, good. You know, one thing I would say, which is a credit to him and his work, is that he's a pretty good pass protector as a four young back. Most backs, whether it be coming from high school into college or college into the NFL, pass protecting is probably one of the biggest things that they have an issue with. Mm -hmm. And so he's worked his tail off at getting and perfecting that and getting better at that. So um, I'm, I'm pretty happy and excited to see, see the competition this year in that room. Another young guy, Xavier Tyus, uh, played in three games, so he still will be considered redshirt freshman this year. Had uh, 12 touches against Grand Valley with nine carries and three receptions. What do you look from Xavier this year? Well, health, first and foremost. <laughs> you know, he came in last year a uh, little banged up. but This year he'll be 100% healthy. Looked really good in the spring game. Um, he's another guy who, who runs with force and authority, runs really well behind his pads. He has a knack for finding those hitting yards. Mm -hmm. I mean, hit those legs, man, are just they just keep churning and churning. And he's a big, powerful, th uh, thick-looking young man, like I say, who who really, really does a good job running well behind his pass. Like so, the height may not be in terms of stature what you're looking mm -hmm. for, but at the end of the day, he's carrying that ball. He he packs a punch. Uh, speaking of guys that pack a punch, Brayton McKenna had a rushing touchdown at Northern Michigan. Another guy, not tall in stature, but will get you some hard yards after contact. Br Brayton is, is what we call our typical uh, still toe boot, uh, hard hat guy. <laughs> you know, he just, you know, with the beard, he just comes out and he just keeps chugging along. And um, the thing about it, I think we look at Brayton in the, in the, in the room as the guy that we all kind of, Look at, if he's not tired, you know, everybody's gauging the sea, okay? <laughs> you know, everybody wants to kind of take a break, but then they look at Brady and it's like, he's not tired. Like, man, we got to keep going, <laughs> right? So, but he kind of sets the standard and tone and all of those things, not physical, right? Mm -hmm. um, he, he probably is not the best athlete in the room, but but in terms of work ethic and like what I just talked about, stamina and mental toughness, he's up there by far one of the toughest guys up there, and he sets the tone in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, a big back, Jeremiah Sterling kind of was feeling his way through the early part of the season and then really had a breakout game at Ferris. Had over 100 yards receiving, finished with 163 all-purpose yards. What do you expect from Jeremiah this fall? Consistency. That, that's just it. You know, the big thing with a lot of these young men, they, they want to feel like talent is everything. Mm -hmm. And I keep telling them, I say, listen, talent is one thing, but let's build some skill set, right, on and off the field. And you have to be consistent. It's like a fire, right? You, you can't be hot and cold. Can't be hot and cold. I want a, I want a continuous flame, something that I can trust, something that I can I can rely on. And and towards the end of the year, you see him mature. You see him grow, and, and it became serious to him. And, and and then over the course of the summer, I mean the winter and the summer, he's uh, shedded about 15 pounds. Looks really good. I mean, you can see when we talk about that fire, you can see the flame in his eyes and you can tell he wants to be a leader. He wants to be the guy. And so, as I told him, in order to be the guy, you have to be the guy in all realms of this football program, not just on the field. And he's turning out to be that guy right now. Great. Um, you've got a few young guys coming in for uh, Jeremiah to lead. Uh, Mickey Keller, a young guy from Ashburn, Virginia Independence High School. Wow. You know... It, when, when I was recruiting this young man, um, when, it, when you start vetting him and doing your research and your homework on the guy, you know, he's like, it's too good to be true. <laughs> you know, he loves the weight room, you know, loves his religion. Great kid, yes sir, no sir. I mean, everything, you know, like, holy cow, but this guy, 
Um, is, is a, he's going to grow into a bigger back. He's about six feet, 190 pounds. Um, just, just a workout warrior. Um, loves his team. First in the, you know, first in the weight room, last to leave. You know, just the type of character you want implanted into your locker room. Uh, so I'm looking for big things for you know for me coming in. Sounds good. You got two other young guys, uh, Brandon Harris from St. Clair Shores Lakeview, uh, a smaller guy at 5'9", 170, and then Cameron Warburton um, out of a prep school and stuff, 5'11", 220, kind of a more stocky Jeremiah size back. Yeah, you know, you need you need a little bit of change of pace back in which is Harris. Like he's more of an electric guy who um, give him a crease, he can, he can take it, you know. So you need some speed out there to kind of throw, throw guys off. Um, He's also a guy that we put in slot, put him in different positions and different personnel packages to try and get matchups in that way. And then we talk about Cam. Cam is just the old school battleship, you know. <laughs> you know, being in the Midwest, Michigan, playing in the GLIAC, you know, when that white stuff start hitting the ground, you just want a back that you can put back there that they just don't want to tackle, mm-hmm. you know. And so, no offense to the smaller backs, but you know, I need a Ford F three fifty, not a Ferrari out there. And the, and the, and the, when when the tread gets bad, so um, you know, putting him and uh, Big Sterling back there. Hopefully, we have a two big uh, two back set, and um, you know, BB's boss bouncing off a battleship. <laughs> Sounds great. Thanks again for watching this edition of Get to Know Your Wednesday Football Team.